West Lafayette, the State Street Project, taking another step forward tonight. The plan will drastically change the design of one of the city's busiest streets, but some of the original ideas have changed. News 18's Alexis Moberger joins us live and explains what some of those changes are. Alexis. Mayor John Dennis says tonight's council meeting will cover a lot of loose ends. Some things that will be discussed will include financial funding, along with finding a contractor for the State Street Project. When I when I ran for mayor, you know, the, the hope was to, you know, try and improve a city that I love so well. Mayor John Dennis created the State Street Project to give what he calls West Lafayette an identity. State Street concept came from um, the desire to go ahead and do something transformative to our city. The original idea was to improve efficiency and mobility. And Dennis says to keep it a citizen driven project. Because we started having public meetings over a several month period of time. And the input that we got from those meetings is what has turned into this State Street project currently. But Dennis's original hope may not be a reality. I, I, I hope everybody understands that uh, oftentimes what you try to do. Uh, in a vision isn't something that can necessarily function in reality. The original idea was to create a roundabout at the intersection of State Street and US 231. Uh, the reality of that is, is that it's not really going to be that functional because of the geographic footprint that it would have to have. Instead, there will be a signalized intersection with modifications to make it bike and pedestrian friendly. Another change since the 2013 plan when it was originally drafted is geography. Focus early on was from the Wabash River just up to about Grant Street. Just but last year, Purdue expressed interest. And that's when the project ballooned from being just a Grant Street to being a transformative project that is truly going to change the history and the future of this city. Purdue plans to invest $60 million into the project. We're going to be utilizing uh, some bonds. Uh, we're going to be utilizing our TIF, our TIF districts to go ahead and, and pay and we're also utilizing the resources from Purdue University. Dennis says the Levy Village TIF and the Aerospace Tech Park will be the two main generators for the project. This project is going to empower us to have an actual downtown. This project is going to allow for us to get from north, south, east, west, anywhere in our community. Dennis says that the project should be completed by 2019, and right now he thinks that the construction should start by 2016. He's looking for a contractor who will complete the project with both efficiency and it being quick. Reporting live in West Lafayette, Alexis Moberger, News 18.